In lesson 9, we used an L298N H-Bridge motor driver to drive a stepper motor using four pins on our Arduino. This time we're going to use the same motor driver to drive the stepper motor using only two pins. So to do this, we need to connect up a circuit that includes two transistors that will switch on the current for the other two pins. So here we have our two transistors. The base is connected to our two pins coming from our Arduino. And on the collector side, we have the wiring going back to the other two pins on our uh, H-Bridge motor shield. Two pins will be d driven directly from the Arduino, driven high or low. And via this circuit, the other two pins will be driven the inverse of that. So if, if in one is high, then in two will be low. If in three is high, then in four will be low um, and vice versa. So we can make use of the fact that within that step cycle, one pin is the inverse of the other, which is why we can do this um, setup using only two pins. So let's run this, see how it runs. So this is currently running at about 12 volts. And if I put the multimeter on here, which is showing the current so you can see we've got the current spiking as the stepper motor changes from one direction to the other so when the load is increased on the stepper motor there the current obviously increases this stepper motor is a 200 step NEMA 17 and it is currently running at about 180 rpm so here's the code that we used in the sketch and you can see that once again this code here is written by Tom Ego. Uh, for this sketch we once again include the stepper.h library and this code here is pretty simple. So we've got this constant integer here which is the variable to hold the number of steps that our stepper mo motor has for one revolution. So for my, my stepper motors this is 200 and it will be different depending on what type of step, stepper motor you have. Under that we set up the stepper object. So here you can see that we've got this line here is commented out. So this one is for the four wires. So this one takes four, four, five arguments there. So steps per revolution plus the four pin numbers. And the one underneath is for the two wire setup. So that only takes three arguments, the steps per revolution plus the two pins for the two wires. Um, under that, we have the setup there. So we're setting up with, with the speed. So here you can see I've changed the speed here to 180 revs per minute. And we're communicating to the serial port, the port there. And in the loop section, <clears throat> fairly straightforward. Um, we're just printing to the uh, serial port there the direction and then stepping um, the number of steps per revolution. And I've got that times by five. So um, I just changed this here to make the um, revolutions go five time instead of once. Um, so that means it would be 200 steps times five to give me five revolutions and then we have a, sh a short delay and then we do the opposite so we go counterclockwise and to go back the reverse direction we've just got this minus symbol here so the result is that this steps the clock um, stepper motor five re revolutions clockwise and then five revolutions anti-clockwise so let's go and have a look at the H file and the CPP file for this 
for this um, sketch. So this is the Stepadite H library here. So we've got the Stepadite H file, and this is where the class um, class functions and class variables are declared. So you can see here we've got um, the two constructors here. So the first one there being for the two wire setup and then the second one being for the four wire setup and then we've got all of our other function declarations underneath and our variable declarations here so you can see we've got our one two three four motor pins in our variables here and if we go across to the cpps file we can see here that we have our scope resolution operators for each of those functions so we're defining all the functions here and the first one is our um, setup for the two wires so taking only the two um, two variables two arguments for the the pins plus the number of steps and then underneath that we've got the scope resolution operator to define the uh, function for the the argument uh, the, the four wire setup so this one taking the five arguments there number of steps plus the four four pins and then underneath that we've got the other functions defined and here you can see is where we've got the uh, the, the switch statements that will give us the sequence for the um, outputs on, on those pins so this one for the two we see the two uh, wires set up here so the sequence for each of those those pins for that and then underneath that then we've got the the four wire version so that's what the CPP and the stepper.h uh, files actually look like and a little bit about what they do. Okay, so here we have our circuit diagram in Fritzing and you can see we have our two NPN transistors and the emitter pin on each of those transistors is connected to ground. We have our base pin connected to the signal pin from our Arduino which is also connected to the IN1 pin and on the other side of the diagram we've got the IN4 pin so and they are connected to that base pin via a 1k resistor so that's the same circuit for both so this one connected to pin 4 and uh, pin 9 on the Arduino and then via the uh, 1k resistor and the other one to the in pin 1 and the pin 8 on the Arduino via the 1k resistor uh, and then on the collector side we have the um, collect collector leg connected to the the other in pin on the module so this this one on this side in one and on the other side in three and that is also connected via a 10k resistor to the 5 volts so what happens here is that if say the pin 8 if pin 8 is sending a signal output high then what it does is it will it'll send that signal through to in one on the module high but it will also sig send a, a voltage across to the base leg of this resistor here which will then allow current to flow and it will pull the 5 volts back down to ground meaning that the uh, signal going to or the voltage going to the in 2 will be low so basically meaning that whenever the signal coming from one of these two pins pin 8 and pin 9 is high the result on the other pin going back into the um, module will be low so we have the 
inverse, which works out perfectly for our um, stepper motor circuit to allow that stepper motor to be driven with only two wires instead of four.